so today we are going to discuss a very um, very interesting brand which is louis vuitton the logo of louis vuitton so let's say let's start with the colors again now what is logo logo is actually the signature of a company all right this that's a recognition of the company what is design of the logo the design of the logo is something that attracts the customers that the company want so it's very very important for you to design logo uh, with a lot of brainstorming and requirements because it's your logo that decides what kind of a customer will your company attract and the shape and the color of the logo is equally important so let's discuss a few of the colors few of the basic colors that we have in logo and what do they mean color red red is for action so any company that requires a lot of action and needs to be very active please use red orange is for pleasure enjoyment and it's less aggressive than red green is for love and peace and it makes the customer feel good about the product or the brand yellow is a mark of respect and status for the customers using it and you are usually above the normal people so for example say ferrari it has yellow so it is it is a brand that has some sort of a status some sort of a high status and ferrari will always attract customers of that level which it desires also of the same blue blue is communication which is uh, so suppose uh, blue uh, is the lighter blue is for communicating with the world when you're starting supposedly a new business so uh, if you if you use lighter blue in that it's very easy for you to communicate it to the outside world all right next is darker blue darker blue is self communication if you are in a business if you have a decision making power if you are the sole person of the business you can incorporate a darker blue because it also helps in a good decision making and also it's very fruitful if you are only the sole maker violet that is purple is very good for your ideas and thoughts so any kind of art related uh, profession or something else can use violet in their logo black is actually no color okay it, it is absence of color uh, however if a brand or a company has black in it that means their products are very unique and they are inconsiderate of anything in the market they deserve what they do and uh, usually they can't be compared to anyone else white is all colors put together so basically it has the quality of all the colors so to have white in a logo is very very beneficial and it's very very important so white uh, actually uh, tells you about the market so any logo having a ba white background is the market it's actually curating to the market it's actually curate curating to the customers demand so i suggest most of the logos almost all the logos to have a white background because that way the company is able to satisfy the customers around and the customers are satisfied with the company as well brown is of course black and red which is rigidity plus action golden is a strong action color it is again a feeling of respect it attracts wealth and uh, customers have a very good feeling using the product so um, that's about it for the colors i had repeat i had done it yesterday i had done, i have done it today again so um i'm going to discuss a very interesting brand today repeating lv louis vuitton so i'm sharing the image with you on the screen okay so when we see louis vuitton out of whatever i just told you just keep that in mind and listen to me carefully so it has a white background number 2 it's written in black letters look at the base of it i think it's really strong try analyzing it yourself what did i speak about black what did i speak about white also something having i spoke about starbucks yesterday did not have a base maybe it has some uh, problem with the ownership is uh, ownership uh, problems with it so now starting with the lv lv of course everyone knows what lv is now 
because it's black in color the alphabets are black they are not very considerate all right they are very very rigid on their products however at the same time it has a white background all right so what does that mean it is rigid on the products the products are unique but at the same time they are creating these unique products for customer satisfaction they are looking at the customer demand and then they are creating these unique pro products so i think it's a, it's a really good way to incorporate in the business and that's why they are so high flying um they have a very uh, you know very um, indifferentiated product compared to the rest of them they have a very good customer demand why because it has a wide background and it tries to curate its level of customers they go out of the way to make their products distinctive why because it's black in color it is a very strong company reason being when you see the bottom part of lv the l the base of the l is really long and it's straight and wide it's covering the whole of v till the top it's not midway or too elongated it's actually equal the same level when you draw lines actually it's like a square so it has a very strong base it is good in delegating works now when it comes to authority minor or senior authority junior or senior authority for lv it's not like if i am the senior most i'll take decisions or if i am the junior most i cannot give opinions and make decisions they have a very cooperative bond bond and they like to share their opinions their ideas and come to a mutual decision so it's uh, again a really good thing that they believe in delegating works the logo is very attractive and focuses on the product focuses on making very attractive products decision making is shared between the authorities like i said so can you people guess as to why what in the logo tells you that there is a shared decision making within the company well it's almost very easy and a lot of common sense when you see the v is overlapping the l and it it's intersecting somewhere so that's the that's the place that tells us that yeah there's a sharing between the delegates so that's about it for today i hope the session was interesting for you and we are learning uh, bits of uh, logo analysis now and then i'm going to come up with another logo tomorrow maybe two of them tomorrow and uh, let's sit with it and try to analyze along with me so that by the end of the week we know quite of quite a things of uh, analyzing the logos and we can also analyze a company's logos so that's about it thank you and bye take care Please wish me luck to save my video and not lose like yesterday. Take care. Bye.